Hey everyone, it is Craig here at Magic Kingdom with Rhino and Kylie. Our wife Kylie. And we are trying out some snacks today, uh, two in particular that I don't know how long they'll be around. Well, one we do, the other one we don't. Uh, the main one is right behind us here at Casey's Kylie. Corner. And that Casey's is. Casey's Corner. Sorry, I went to go over <laughs> her head and um, Casey's Corner. It's the specialty hot dog for September. It is the jalapeno popper mm. hot diggity dog, I believe is the official title. <laughs> we haven't been in yet, so I don't know the actual name. See, but see pictures on the internet. Yeah, I'm I was I'm still mourning the loss of the last hot dog, the super cheesy one, but then jalapenos come along and that just makes everything better. So Kylie's gonna hate it. She doesn't like jalapenos or oh, spicy no. thing. So spicy. But <laughs> Rhino and I are gonna definitely like fight over uh, oh, yeah. Lady and the Tramp in this one. Oh, so yeah, but we have sure. to do it so like we're doing it and then Kylie's in the background going, like the Charlie Brown theme plays. <laughs> that was The um, Price is Right. <laughs> I, don't... I did the Okay. I did the Price is Right. Did. Yeah, you both did the Price is Right. Yeah. So anyway, I don't know how that has to deal with Charlie Brown, but okay. Um, so it's hot. It is. So we're gonna head inside and get to it. Thank you. We have it. The September monthly hot dog. Tilting too far. You're gonna lose a pop. I have never dropped anything on the ground anytime we've ever done anything. The jalapeno popper hot diggity dog. So what is on this massive foot long beast? Well, it's an all beef hot dog with cheddar sauce, garlic ranch drizzle, bacon bits, pickled jalapenos, and jalapeno poppers. And then I did mobile order because the line was too insane. So we were forced to get french fries or apple slices, or for $2.20 more, you could upgrade to the seasonal fries, which is literally all the toppings for the hot dog, just on top of french fries. So we're going double duty on it. And then the foot long by itself was like $12.49. So all together is just over fifteen dollars for that. But um, since I we, think we should keep it in the boat. In the boat, I, we will try. We, we can just get the tip. Let's okay. Just try the so it's been a while since we've lady in the tramped anything. So I'm gonna take a picture of this. Your mouth with the hot dog on the other end. Sorry. So we finally are going to do it again. One. Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna tilt mine up so I don't get cardboard. I have a bad habit of like biting paper and cardboard. Yeah. I like maintaining extended eye contact. Oh, Ooh, that, are we that hot dog to each other? You got cheese on there. What? Mmm. Oh, the hot dog's real good. I love the the beef foot long here. Yeah. Should we cut into this now and yeah, actually yeah, yeah. eat the thing? Yeah. Kylie, how do you feel about this? Oh goodness! Oh goodness gracious! I would like to feed this to you. Open wide. Oh no! That's her inside <laughs> screaming. That's actually not a child. Go on. <laughs> Don't be afraid of it. Just accept it. Oh my gosh! Stop Except, here, I got it. I Just bend over and eat it. Oh my gosh, this video is gonna get taken down. Oh. Oh my. Did you get some jalapeno in there? Yeah, she did. Mm. Oh boy. I'll eat the popper. You can have everything else. So when you get the jalapeno popper in it, uh, we didn't get a jalapeno in our bite. They're on there though. The, the cheddar cheese sauce with the jalapeno popper is just A plus. It is a big, cheesy, slightly spicy mess. It's not a, it's not a really, intense jalapeno popper. It's honestly probably the same exact ones that we tried over at Golden Oak Outpost way back when. Yeah. Well, those are good. Those were good. And these are good too. I couldn't really taste any of the garlic sauce in there. The garlic ranch. But yeah, the garlic drizzle. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily needed. I know we'll definitely be able to taste it in the fries, but I'm going to clean up Rhino. Yeah, please don't touch my camera. And then we'll let you have a bite. This is like a difficult hot dog to hold here. Do you want, I want you to be here? It would be romantic. This is messy. I will say this bun is an improvement over whatever that uh, that Cuban hot dog was we had. Okay. 
a little difficult to eat, as you may or may not have seen, if you're still looking at me and haven't shut this video off yet. You definitely know that's true. But, um, I will say, it's super good. This bun is actually really, really good that the hot dog's on. Um, my thing when we did the last, um, the last Cuban hot dog, like I said earlier, was the bun um, got really soggy and really gross. And we did sit and take pictures of stuff like that, and the cheese is not, like, soaked all the way through the bun yet. I feel like it's the appropriate amount of soaked into it. Um, so, I'm into it. I really like the cheese sauce with the, um, the jalapenos in it. The garlic ranch is not coming through super strong, like Craig said, but I feel like because they've drizzled it with so much cheese sauce, why would you, I don't even think it needs the garlic ranch sauce, but it's pretty good. I like it so far. I'm a fan. We chose the loudest place in the world to record this video, too. I'm sorry. It's just really loud at Casey's. Remember when we listed off all of the ingredients for the hot dog just, like, three minutes ago? They're also all in the french fries. Kylie doesn't like jalapenos like myself and Rhino does. Do? <laughs> we does. We does. Uh, Kylie doesn't like jalapenos, so we're gonna find her opinion on those because I feel like you can easily navigate away from the jalapenos because, well, they're just kind of placed nicely on top, so, okay. Take it away, Kylie. Okay. Good work. Thank you. This you can actually taste the ranch, which is top notch. Um, I like it because it's garlic ranch. I know. I love all things garlic. My breath is going to be. Mm. Um, are you rolling your eyes at me? No, he's rolling his eyes at the hot dog. It's good. Oh, God. Good lord. <laughs> You're married to that. Mm. Okay, these are really good. I honestly wish the distribution was a little bit better. Because as soon as you get like, see, like over here, there's nothing on these. I see what you're saying. It's like kind of all in the middle. Yeah. And then... There's cheese underneath, but I feel like it needs more of the garlic. Rinse. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah. Okay, now that Kylie's touched all the fries with her bare hands, I'm going to go in and get some jalapeno on here with garlic sauce. She is right. There's, It's like dumped in the middle, so you almost have to like kind of push it around a little bit. Maybe ask for the garlic ranch on the side, because I feel like I'm gonna want more of it. So, I'm a fan of garlic, like, dipping anything into ranch, pretty much, and I love garlic, so garlic ranch is a okay with me. And again, like I said, I actually, I think next time maybe I, I will ask for a side of the ranch. However, this the mixture is really good. I mean, it's kind of basic. You can't go wrong with, like, jalapenos and cheese and french fries. It's just, my heart is slowly beating slower and slower as we do this video. Um, and then it's the same poppers that are on top of the of the hot dog. So those are pretty good sized poppers too. Um, they're, they're like a little treat for you when you're done. Like finish your fries and you get your papa. I don't think there's any hope of getting ranch sauce in there anymore. Sorry. You can taste the ranch a little bit more with these than the actual hot dog. Mm -hmm. But ultimately it just gets lost in the amount of cheddar cheese that's on there. That's not a bad thing. I love a good cheese fry, cheese fry, but yeah, I wish I could distinguish the flavors more. And since like Kylie doesn't like jalapenos, if I was by myself with this, I would have just dumped jalapenos all over this thing and went to town. But overall, it's solid. You can get this just by itself, like the same way we showed it for $5.99. I kind of think that's a little bit of a ripoff for what you're getting. That's just me. Unless you consider the price of the two poppers in there might be a little bit better, but um, I'm, I'm a bigger fan of the hot dog than the fries, but I guess we're all kind of different, right? <laughs> Why did we get all the way over here into Tomorrowland at Cosmic Rays, Craig? Well, we weren't intending on getting french fries with our Casey's meal, but because I was too lazy to wait in line, there was no way around. Yes, I could have got the apple slices, like I said back then, but I'm not, I'm not paying that much freaking apple slices. Come on. So our original thought was we were gonna have the hot dog at Casey's, and then we're coming over to Cosmic Rays to try their secret menu mm. French fries that they have that you can only order through the mobile app, which means that they're publicly displayed, so they're not really secret. We could debate on that for hours, decades, however long you want, <laughs> but. Regardless, that was the plan all along. We didn't tease it up front. We were going to be surprising about it. So now we're going to go through our second portion of french fries. I don't know anything about these besides seeing a picture. 
So, we're gonna just, I guess, wing it. Wing, wing it. See how it goes. Fries before guys. Stop that. This is the Galaxy Loaded Fries here at Cosmic Ray Starlight Cafe. Sunny Eclipse told me about them. He didn't, but that would be awesome if that was part of the loop. Like, hey, go up and try those Galaxy Loaded Fries. So these are French fries topped with bacon, pico, garlic ranch sauce again, cheese sauce again, and then much to probably Kylie's chagrin, flaming hot cheese dust from Cheetos. Oh, everything sounded so good. We're still gonna try them anyways. Let me put on my sunglasses here. And uh, it's like you're checking for diamond. <laughs> okay, off to a good start. These fries are like super long <laughs> and not really. I have thoughts, but I want Kylie to try it first. It is sad that your sunglasses fit on over my glasses and we're still loose. I'm not, I don't like hot Cheetos, but you can't taste them that much. Um, I can mainly taste the garlic ranch, the cheese again. Um, barely taste any pico. So I'm with Kylie. I also don't love flaming hot Cheetos, but I'm open to this idea right now. The tomatoes seem to make it want to elevate. I, I don't really get a lot of the Flaming Hot Cheeto taste there. I was thinking it was going to be like a texture thing maybe. I don't know. Maybe they're not freshly crumbled or something so they're not like crunchy. You can definitely taste that garlic sauce a lot more on this one. There's a lot less cheese. Um, I don't hate it. But I think I like the other ones better. I gotta think about it for another minute. Though. I don't care for them. So I only had one bite. It's just not very tasty. I, you can taste the cheese again, and you can taste the wateriness of the pico, but you're not, I didn't get any really Cheetos dust in it. Like I, I had Cheetos dust on my bite. It just didn't come through at all. So it's just all kind of a mess. Not, not a huge fan of it. So, and for five ninety nine, I don't, I don't think you're getting value out of it at all. But I hope you like it. At least with the jalapeno popper one, they had the two jalapeno poppers, so it like kind of added to it. Yeah, I, th I think like making that one five ninety nine. Yeah. When you were like, oh, two jalapeno poppers. I, I can't remember how much the jalapeno poppers were at the yeah. in Frontierland, but. At least it, that it you have value. like substance. Yeah. And it's still about the same amount of fries. So you're not losing out on fries when you get the other one. And then I mentioned it not on the video, but basically the Cheetos dust tastes like they stripped the Cheetos of all their dust, added water, shook it up, and threw it on top. Kind of like little weird crumbles. I hate that visual. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, it's not great. It's not the worst thing I've ever had, but I would not get it again. All right, I actually like the Cheeto fries a little bit better than everybody else, but I don't know why they're a thing. I, I didn't dislike them, but I, I get that. There was no real, there was no reason for them. And Craig's right, they're expensive, so I can't recommend them, especially since Starlight Cafe has its own toppings bar. So you could just get regular fries, ask for a packet of garlic, and then go to town. That's my assessment here of Starlight Cosmic Rays area here. Um, I have nothing else to say in terms of the quality of those fries. I would say my final rankings on all of them have changed. I'm now on the jalapeno popper french fries at Casey's is number one. Thinking about those two poppers plus the fries, all the toppings, that really is the best bang for your buck. Then the hot dog right after that. And then these french fries, like, just throw them on the ground and step on them because that's about as much as they're worth. I found them. Um, so I, I actually, I think I like the hot dog the best of all the things, but that hot dog is probably a meal for actually like maybe two to three people. Not maybe two, it's definitely two. I'm not shaming you if you want to attack it all by yourself, but 
It's 100 degrees outside right now. Do you really want to have that much ranch and cheese circling around in your belly, topped off with a jalapeno popper, as I like to call it, a time bomb? So, that's just me. But that was good. So, that's it, I guess, for us right now. I'm full. Yep. It was Until a good you one. see us in another vlog wearing the same exact clothes, pretending like it's a different day. Yes.